When working with mass elements in a project, you don't have it set up as yet to display. You'll notice here that when I opened up this particular project that the mass elements haven't shown up yet. What I would have to do is go into Massing in Sight and click on the Show Mass Elements in order for them to appear. After I got that done, the other thing I might want to do is set up my views. So I might want to take a look at a 3D view. So as I develop my design, I can basically work with that. So I'm coming over here to the project browser. And under 3D views, there's already one established. So I'm going to pick up 3D mass. So I now have two views. And I'm going to set them up side by side. So I'm going to pick up the view tab. Come over to tile windows. So I have both views now shown. Now, there's a number of other placement options that you can work with with mass elements. One of the things that you can do other than placing on a work plane, which is what we've got here, is that you can also place on faces. The other thing that you can do is you can also rotate mass elements after you go ahead and place them. So let's take a look, first of all, at how to rotate in place. So we're going to come over here to the floor plan and zoom in over here on this and make sure that the floor plan is active. And go to the Massing in Sight tab. Once I have that activated, I'm going to go over here to Place Mass. And let's go ahead and find the box shape. We'll pick that. Right now, you'll see it attached. Now, to rotate this after placement, I'd come up here to the Options bar and check mark Rotate After Placement. I'll come back in and just kind of put it in. You'll notice here that I get the Rotate tool. I'll just go ahead and make sure that I rotate it 45, and then click. So now you'll see I've got the shape that's been rotated, and I can use the shape handles to put it into locations that I need it. So we're done with that shape. Here it is in the 3D view. Here it is in the floor plan view. The next thing to do is what about putting another object up on top so we can have a little bit of a different design here? So let's take a look at how that would work. I'm going to come over here, look at this shape. Let's say that we want to put a barrel vault up on top of the roof. Now, we don't know exactly as yet what the height is on this. If we click on it, it tells you that it's got a height of 30 feet and it's got a particular width and depth. So one of the things that we could do is come up here to the project browser. Let's pick up the south elevation. And it appears that all the objects so far are at a particular level. So let's look at what the level is, which is level four. In this case, what we're going to do is pick a barrel vault, and we're going to place it up on top. So let's go to place mass in the selector. Let's go ahead and find the barrel vault. And placement plane, which is where we're at, we're still on work planes. We're going to come in here and find level four. Now, when I come in and click in this view, what should happen is it should be placed on top of level four, which is basically the top of the roof. And you can see it over here in this view, the 3D view. Just hit modify and just come in here and kind of zoom in a little bit. So it appears to be right up on top of the roof. Let's just come over here to the floor plan. We'll just take the shape, fill it out to what it's supposed to look like. You'll see here that it's looking very much like it was on the map for the building down below. You'll see there that that's my shape. So that's one method that you can use as far as using a work plane and then changing the work plane that you want to work on. Another method, I'll just come down here to this shape, and we'll also kind of look at it in a floor plan view. You can also put it on by face. Let's take a look at doing that. So let's come in here to place mass. Instead of working on work plane mode, we're going to hit place on face mode. We're going to change it a little bit. We'll pick up the barrel vault again. Come over here and click into the 3D mass because it's a little bit easier to place these on faces in 3D. So if you notice here, it's picking up the top. If I kind of pull down, it's pulling over onto this face. I don't really have it there. I'd have to kind of spin it a little bit. You'll see there it finds that face too. So I could go ahead and put a face there. 
another face there, and let's say another face there, and then hit modify. So you can see that basically you can go ahead and apply shapes to faces. So in essence, what happens here is to, first of all, set up your view. You can turn the masses on and off using the show mass icon. You have options as far as working with placing on a work plane based on different levels. You can rotate an object after placement. And then you can use place on a face right here for going ahead and putting it on different faces.